I've been seeing a lot of people do their plan to pan videos earlier before the end of the year and I typically do mine at the very end of the year but I think it is kind of a good idea to maybe do it a couple months before the end of the year and that way you can figure out like okay if I want to make sure I'm using these things up next year what do I need to use up first or what do I need to focus on what do I need to get a head start on for me project panning is a really great way for me to work out some of the oldest products in my collection and that way nothing is just sitting unused and expiring and I mean it's not a perfect system sometimes things do expire before I get to finish them but it is not a very common occurrence because I am really good at making sure my oldest stuff gets used just as much as my newer shiny things. I have 11 products here and the majority of them are some of the oldest projects products in my collection and I am going to start eyes lips face and I will do a update video later this year of whether or not I was able to finish the products that I had set out to finish in 2022. But because the end of the year is still a few months away, I'm gonna wait to film that one because a lot of the products that I discuss in that video, I'm still currently trying to finish. So wish me luck on that. Now let's talk about the products I wanna finish. Some of the oldest products in my collection are eyeshadows and the two that I would like to make sure I finish because I'm so close to finishing them are two singles here. This one here is Makeup Geek's Petal Pusher and this one is Stone from ABH. They both have pan and they both only have some product around the edges there and I do think that even though I'm not super experienced with panning entire eyeshadows, these ones already have such good work on them that I do think I could finish them if I focused on them. They're also two shades that I really enjoy and use a lot and ABH Stone I can also use as a contour shade so I can multi-use that one and in fact it's really thin around the edges in the pan because I do use it that way a lot. And this Mavi Cool Tone Purple shade I love using in the crease. I love this eyeshadow color on me and so I don't think that these will be a problem to finish and it'll just feel really satisfying to finish an entire eyeshadow because that's not something I do very often. I do try to hit pan on eyeshadows through my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, which I still plan on doing next year, but I wanna make sure I also have these incorporated into project pans somehow so that I can have them finished by the end of the year. And when we look at age, ABH Stone I purchased in November of 2019 and Petal Pusher I purchased in November of 2018. So both of these are two and three years old roughly. And speaking of eyeshadow, I do have a palette that I would like to pan. It's a mini, it's a quad from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk quad. This is not one of the oldest products in my collection like those two singles were, but I really would like to finish this only because I have always wanted to do a pan that palette. However, with the way I like to wear eyeshadow and with the amount of eyeshadow that I wear on a regular basis, it would be really difficult for me to finish an entire palette of eyeshadow without being super miserable in the process. And trust me, I've considered starting Pan That Palette series multiple times and every time it just doesn't logistically make sense for me. But this palette is perfect because it's a really great companion palette. It's a great travel palette. It's also a really great palette for whenever I'm running behind and I don't have a lot of time to do intricate eyeshadow looks. I can just grab a couple of these shades or all four of them to create a really pretty simple look. They're shades that I really like and I have already used a lot of these quite a bit. If you see these two shades here, like I'm pretty close to hitting pan on those already. There's a huge dip in that pink shade. Not as much work on this brown shade, but that is a really simple, easy shade for that I can use all the time. And I do really like this palette. I've already used it over a hundred times. And if I do focus on it, I could finish it and maybe that will satisfy my undying want to have finally panned the palette. And maybe if I do really well, it'll give me the courage and the motivation to maybe try and pan another palette in my collection. And the Charlotte Tilbury palette isn't as old as the other eye two eyeshadows that I'm trying to finish. This one I got in December of 2020, so it's right around two years old. Like I said, I'll still be playing with my other eyeshadows. I won't just be focusing on those six shadows, but they're all relatively, I don't wanna say boring shadows, but they're just easy everyday shadows, and I think that they will complement the more colorful looks and the other eyeshadows in my collection that I still want to reach for. I do have a question. For this palette, if I wanted to incorporate it into a project pan video, would you rather see it as part of a general project pan? Like I'm going to have a general 2023 year-long rolling project pan. Would you rather see it as part of that 
or would you like to see it incorporated into the pan those eyeshadows project like maybe i focus on one shadow at a time as part of my quintet and I try to hit pan on them first, and then I also try to finish them eventually as well. Let me know what you think I should do, or if you'd like to have a separate pan that palette series. The updates would be pretty quick because we're only focusing on four shades at a time, but let me know what your thoughts are. I have five or six lip products, and only one of them I'll actually be using on my lips, and that is the Urban Decay Bittersweet Lip Liner. I often forget that I even have this in my collection because this is not a color I reach for that often anymore. I used to love bright purple lips. I used to wear those all the time in my videos. I've since kind of moved away from that, but I still enjoy doing it from time to time. I just have to remember to do it. And when I went to go see how old this was, I actually couldn't find it anywhere like I couldn't find it in recent orders I couldn't find it in my purchase history anywhere I think I bought this in store at an Ulta years ago maybe even when I was still working there which was like six plus years ago so I don't actually know how old this is it still smells fine and performs fine and I do need to sharpen it but I think if I start thinking to reach for it now and maybe getting some more work on it before the end of the year, maybe I could realistically finish it next year. Lip pencils do take me a long time to go through. Even the nude staple lip pencils that I wear all the time, it just takes time. It's a slower going product for me, so I think I'll need to start focusing on it and just trying to reach for it a handful more times every month um, this year so that next year I'm much more likely to be able to finish it before the end of 2023. And I think this will be really good for me because it'll kind of bring me back to um, just like a slightly different time in my makeup journey. I used to love purple lips. That used to be like my signature look. In fact, I remember I did a signature uh, makeup look a couple years ago and it was a cool toned eye and a purple lip. And I feel like that's still pretty much my in my head my signature look i do have a lot of other different types of looks that i like to do on a regular basis but it's just funny how things have changed so much but in, at the same time they haven't really changed the other lip products are liquid lipsticks and i've been trying to figure out how to make peace with the amount of liquid lipsticks that i still have in my collection because i don't really ever wear lipstick liquid lipsticks at all and maybe a couple of times so far this year and we're already into September. But this used to be a product I loved and liquid lipsticks were kind of my gateway product. They were the product that I first started experimenting with and I purchased a lot of different formulas and I had a lot of different ones that I loved and I wore all the time. And I have such wonderful memories associated with that. It kind of fostered my love for makeup. I have so many of them at this point and I don't wanna just throw them away, but I don't really wear them on my lips anymore. It's just not my preference. And so I'd like to figure out a way to still get some use out of them, still give them a little bit more love before I finally let them go because eventually I will have to. A lot of these are multiple years old and some of them I don't even feel comfortable putting on my lips anymore. One thing I did earlier this year and some of last year too, is I used liquid lipsticks as cream blushes and finished them that way. That's actually how I panned the ABH liquid lipstick in the shade Crush that was a beautiful blush color and there is nothing stopping me from doing that with the other liquid lipsticks in my collection. I don't know how many times it would take to finish an entire liquid lipstick using it as a cream blush. I didn't track uses on the liquid lipstick from ABH that I was using as a cream blush and I had already used it a lot on my lips before that so there was just no way for me to know. I do know that it took a few months um, but every different brand and every different size. I have some travel sizes here. Like there's no way for me to know how long it would take to finish in that way. It's kind of more important to me to get to use each of the liquid lipsticks enough more so than going through and actually trying to pan each one. I just don't think that's possible. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab for my oldest liquid lipsticks. I'm going to use them a certain number of times and then I'm going to be finished with them and I will count that as a makeup empty because I feel like I'll have gotten enough use out of it as a liquid lipstick in the past and as a cream blush now to warrant it being finished. So I actually have four liquid lipsticks and two of them are travel sizes. These two are from Stila. They're in Perla and Bocce and they're very very similar in the shade. Uh, Bocce is just slightly deeper than Perla. Perla, I've used up multiples of these. I think I even used up a full size of this at one point. Used to be one of my favorite colors. I'm going to just start with one of them, use it 50 times, see how close I am to finishing it. I might finish it before the 50 uses. I'm not sure how much product is in here. 
and go from there. And the full size ones, I'll probably try to use 75 times. I think that's still a lot of times reaching for these products. I'll get either really close to finishing them or I will finish them given that amount of uses. I will adjust as I go and I will try to like start on these this year. Maybe I get a head start and I'll just roll in one at a time as part of my Partners in Cream project. I have lots of different tones to play with and reaching for any of them throughout the year, just depending on what blush look I'm going for, I think is really gonna help me. And then I will feel much more at peace being able to let them go because I know that I did show them a lot of love before letting them go. And so it makes me feel like it's a little less wasteful. Now we have face products. I do plan on panning other products outside of the three that I'm going to talk about, but these are the three that I'm really going to focus on. Two of them are the oldest products in my collection that I own, and then one of them is just one that I think I could realistically pan in conjunction with the other two, and it'll feel good to have all three of them out by next year. And the first one is a blush. It's one that you've seen in a lot of project pans. It's Milani Luminoso. This is my oldest product. This and the other one I'm going to talk about in a minute. I purchased this in 2016, meaning it's coming up on six years old. It's still good. Formula is still beautiful. I love this color and I've used this over a hundred times. I love this blush. I think it's beautiful. I think it's going to be so fun to watch get used up. Like I think following the progress, especially once I hit pan on this, is going to be so fun. Um, and I hope you enjoy it too. And so this will be the blush that I focus on. And then if I do finish this one within a reasonable amount of time, I might try to finish up another blush in my collection, or maybe I'll just do what I've done this year and just play around with all the colors depending on what I'm in the mood for that day. The next oldest product in my collection is a highlighter. It's from the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. I have since used up the bronzer side a long time ago, and now I have this left. This is still a really beautiful highlighter, but it is the oldest one in my collection and I think it'll be good for me to finally use this up and move on and maybe reuse the packaging for something else. I'm not sure. It's so beautiful. I would just feel weird not having this anymore. <laughs> so maybe I'll put something else in it later on and kind of use this as like a panning palette where I repress something that I want to finish into it and so I still get to enjoy the packaging. I have a really big pan in there already and I have flattened out a lot of the surface around it. Again, I think that this will be really fun to track. It'll be really fun to see the pan get bigger every update. And I do still really love this formula. It's beautiful and it's a color and formula that I can use all year round. I do think that I could finish this in a year's time and still have some room in my panning life to finish another highlighter, but it'll have to be a travel size. It'll have to be a smaller one. And this one from Becca is a mini champagne pop. And this one is a shade that I really enjoy. I've actually been wearing it a lot. I'm wearing it today, but I'm wearing a lot of other glowy things too. So it's not the main star of the show. And I have already used this a ton. I've already used this, I think over 30 times. And I have used up a mini Moonstone Becca highlighter and that one took I think a little over 80 uses. That one was a much more natural tone for me so I did use a lot more of it and at the time that I was finishing that I was into a much more blinding glowy look with powder highlighter. I use cream highlighters nowadays and so I was using a lot more product when I panned it so I think that this will take me more than 80 something uses to finish but because I've already used it 30 times and I'm currently using it right now, like in my makeup rotation, I do think that I could finish this. I might even be able to hit pan on it this year and then finish it next year. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I think that focusing on these two highlighters is going to be really easy to do when I'm looking for something more natural, something a little bit more close to my skin tone, I can reach for this, which is most of the time. And then anytime I want to take it up a notch, I can reach for this. And I can also use it as an inner corner highlight too. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think next year is going to be a really great panning year for me. This year, I was much more focused on actively trying to use everything and reach for things more evenly. And I did have a project pan earlier this year where I was trying to reach for everything a certain amount of times. I ended up getting overwhelmed with the amount of products that I was tracking at any given time. But I do think that that was a really great exercise for me. And as a result, I do feel like I've given all of the products in my collection a lot of love this year 
just in smaller amounts so that I could focus on everything instead of just focusing on a set number of products like I had previously. So I think I've really set myself up for a very successful panning year next year. And yeah, I just, I really feel like I'm gonna hit some goals next year. Like I feel very motivated and very inspired to have like a really great panning year next year. So that's everything I have. Um, I will find some of the other people who have done videos like this for 2023 and put them in the description box. If you've done a video like that, please let me know. I'll add you to the list. I love watching these kinds of videos. They are very inspiring to me. They really motivate me and get me thinking about what I want to do in the next coming months to prepare myself for next year and just kind of give me like a renewed energy about panning in general. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you in my next video, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.